Hey guys, it's ESPN001 here, part 54 of Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. Now at the time this is being recorded, I have not yet posted the channel update, but I need to get two videos recorded just so I would have a couple ready to go. So forgive my sort of upgrades from Dead this Money. This isn't a public relations office. If you're not here about a bounty, you can go... I... what? Uh, let's see what we can do about... yep. Damn right, I... I've got three fiends. I good. That's damn. This good. is what I want to do. Yep. I figure it's about time we got lucky out here. So, first one calls herself. Then there's driver and a fuck. And finally, cook, cook, rapist, pyromaniac, and damn good chef. If you believe the fiends we've kept, <laughs> I'm not gonna feed you any bullshit. These aren't your common Vegas trash. You go after them, any of them. You're. Uh, let's start with... Okay, that was weird. I almost sneezed. Violet it is. Just watch it. You bring me a head that looks like a rotten tomato, people will be down. Okay, so I'm here to claim a bounty. No. God damn it. That's Violet, all right. You made me... Yep, we killed her a while back. Think you can take down... I have another head here. You killed enough... Yeah, that's Cook Cook. Ugh, did he always smell like this, even before he was... Well, makes us pay back for at least one of my troopers. She'll be gl... That's two psychopaths. Alright, I need to go after Driver Nephi. You've got some guts, I'll give you that. Nephi is one tough son of a... My advice is this. Talk to Lieutenant... If you're lucky, you can lure Nephi into the open and the sharpshooters can bring... It's a better bet than trying to take Nephi... Uh, I don't really care that I'm much about getting help. You've gone. I have a better idea. I'm gonna shoot him myself because it's easier and it's more fun. Uh, but right now it is getting kind of dark in New Vegas, so let's wait until the morning to go hunt this target down. So yeah, we got two of them, I think, actually on the way to Honest Hearts, or on the way to some... No, on the way out to, like, the Great Cons Camp, actually. Uh, so as you can see, I have yet to recruit Eddie again. The reason being, I had saved right before talking to him, and then talking to him triggered the conversation, the next conversation, for the, uh, what's it called? For the Eddie My Love quest. So, because of that, we are not going to talk to him until we finish up this quest, and then we'll go talk to him, though. Uh, let's make sure I'm headed for the right one. I also probably better equip a weapon. Let's see what I can find that I want to put on my weapon. Let's see. Oh yeah, sadly enough, I found out my mods are not going to work for the hunting revolver. I'd have to buy a Gunrunner's Arsenal version, so I don't know if I'm going to sell it back yet or not. So, let's pull out the Snipper Riffle, and it's Suppressor. So our goal is to not uh, destroy the head of Nephi. You can, but you just won't get as much money, which isn't really that big a deal. I've got like 32,000 caps or so now, so it's not really that big a deal. And he's not, he, she's not too far away, which is good. And we've got a nice uh, sharpshooter right behind us. We're dual sniper bros across the sky. Just like dual Gatling laser bros for seven minutes of Fallout 3's final mission. And then the game was like freezing, so I decided not to do it anymore. Hello, people. I missed. I missed. There we go. I shot him in the... I think I shot him in the balls. Oh, well. I could care less. You weren't him, so you get to die. Okay, you got hit. Oh, I think that's Nephi, actually. Because that's got the, uh... Yep. Hey, we did well! Nice job, Boone. You didn't shoot the head off. Man, you are a true sniper, buddy. Now we just gotta... For a second, I thought my shot hit the one on the lower right, which wouldn't have been possible. Alright, we're almost through, Boone. Just a few more to kill. I really wish the automatic rifle had uh, upgrades from Dead Money because that gun would be kind of awesome with some upgrades. 
man, Boone, you are skilled. I mean, I took down a couple of them, including that last one, but man, you have got some skills. Let's see what we can take from these bodies. Probably some monies. And I'm going to take these Fiend's Helmets. Buff out Driver Nephi's head. Ooh, I'll take that. It, oh, wow, I shot it, so it's not worth anything. Well, that's stupid. It's not worth anything now. Uh, let's take that helmet, though. I gotta take these helmets back to my house in Vegas. Because I just want to have them. And I want to keep them like the governor kept the dead, severed heads of people in The Walking Dead. This is my trophy. These are my trophies, actually. Uh, looks like some water. Ooh, some crappy ammunition. I'll take that. Ooh, a grenade box. Let's see what's in here. Watch it not be grenades. As we know, fallout logic to not always be correct. Oh, no, it was grenades. Well, I can use those for a challenge later on for a Gunrunner's Arsenal challenge and a super stim pack. Not too bad, actually. Uh, is there any way to get up there? Maybe, maybe not. I really could care less, though. I might take some of these rifles back as well and store them up in the house as well, just so I have more collectibles. So, next up, we want to head over to Camp McCarran and talk to, uh, whatever the guy's name is again. Daughtry, or whatever his name is. So, that was a very easy quest, considering we had already gotten two of the heads intact. Even though I have the bloody mess perk, that's why I sort of let Boone, uh, do that, like he did. So, we are going to head back inside, and now we will have the opportunity to go recruit Eddie again. We'll go do that. I will drop some of this crap off in my house. And then we will continue on through the main quest. Because like I said, there's still a few side quests to do, but we actually can't even do for all Lang Sign, I believe, until we have completed Still in the Dark and dealt with the Brotherhood. And... That's when we'll do that Guess Who I Saw today, I believe is the name of the quest, up in Jacobstown. Including the final snow globe, which is unfortunately useless to us since Mr. House is dead. So, let's talk to the Major and get some money. Still working on that lot? I'm here to claim a bounty. Well, well, well. Driver Nafi. Nothing to say, you son of a bitch. No tips on... This... Lost a lot of good men to this psychopath. I guess we can send first recon down to camp for... You've been one hell of a stroke of good luck, you know that? Wish I had a few grunts as good as you. Good working with you too, sir. But Boone helped out quite a bit, so you can't diminish his role in it. I mean, he's the one that killed Nephi. Okay, so as you guys can see, there are only a few quests left in here. Uh, I think that we're going to go recruit Eddie and then do this quest first, and then we'll go do Come Fly With Me. So, yeah, I think, I think that's what I'd rather do. So first, we want to go back and get Eddie again and drop this crap off in my house. I've got my gold bars and all the stuff that I earned from dead money here. And like I said, dead money was not an easy thing to do. I'm going to say that right now. But, you know, I guess it was worth it in the end because it comes with some pretty good rewards. I mean, you can get four or five hundred oh. stim packs out of it if you play it correctly. Plus, if you can use the glitch correctly, you can grab uh, 37 gold bars worth about 380,000 caps. With 100 barter skill, that is. But like I told you guys, I could not get the glitch to work correctly. And, like, the gold bars would never drop through the force field. In fact, they just, like, drop through the floor. So I just ran out with six of them and a few unique weapons that I thought were cool. Like, weapons from the DLC. I'll be kind of glad when we can ditch this armor soon as well. I'll be very glad to ditch this armor because I'm getting a little bit bored of it. Well, not bored of it. I'm just not liking it that much anymore.
I mean, we're about to get better armor pretty soon anyway, once we finish up all the stuff for the Brotherhood, which I would say is going to take five videos or so, because there's a lot we actually have to do for them. So, like I said, I need to drop off these helmets. And Nephi's Golf Driver, I think I'll drop that as well, because it's so just no damage on it. I uh, will drop all of these. I will probably come organize these later. Wow, they like fell in a perfect circle. I'll probably come back and organize all this stuff later because I don't want to waste time in the video organizing it. Well, that's actually worth a few caps, so I'll keep it. All right. Everything has been successfully dropped off in the house. Now we've got to go find Eddie. I wonder where he is. Ah, here you are, buddy. Hey, I'm happy to see you too. Companion protocol begin. And now, in about five seconds, we're going to get his next message. I think we can... I think I just went to the cocktail lounge, didn't I? I think technically we can just go ahead with the main quest. And now there's actually two different options you can do for this. You can have him go to the Brotherhood, and I went to the wrong floor. That's just great. You can either have him go to the Brotherhood, or you can have him go to the Followers of the Apocalypse. And each one gives you different rewards, like one of them boosts Eddie's armor, health. Seriously. Seriously. And the other one boosts his weapons capability. So I gotta decide which one I want to do, but I would love to have... I'll probably take the weapons upgrade. I think that's really stupid that I have to come all the way back up here and hit follow me. Casino, there we go. Well, if the patrol is near one of our marked locations, which actually one of the perks I took was Explorer. Uh, let's see where it is, actually. Oh, okay, it's at the Repcon. We can do that. Might as well go ahead and head over there and do this uh, quest. I could take him to the Followers of the Apocalypse, but I'd rather just take it to the Brotherhood of Steel because they've already marked their location and talked to me first. So they get first dibs on Eddie, which means we'll be out at, be without him for a few days, but we can live without him for a few days. I lived through all of Dead Money without him, even though I died like, I don't know, like 30 times in Dead Money or so. More than I've ever died in the Fallout, in both Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas combined, I think. Which is kind of embarrassing. I mean, it, it's a hard DLC, I'm not lying, it's a tough DLC. Oh crap, if I remember correctly, this patrol is going to be dead, so this may actually be pointless. Let's see, because I think that this one's going to be dead. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think he's going to be dead. Because I believe this is part of, actually, one of the side quests. Well, thanks for the stuff I can add to the collection, I suppose. Even though I didn't kill them, I'll add them to the collection. Okay. Unauthorized facial pattern. Speech. Please do not make your way... Please do not make your way to the second floor. Guess what, sir? Shut up! Because you have no authority over someone that can kill you very quickly. We'll take some microfusion cells, though. And some pre-war money. Uh-oh! I walked to the second floor! Arrest me now! No! 
Okay, I don't even know why I said that. I that was embarrassing. Unauthorized facial. Uh, intelligence of what the heck is that? Oh. Okay. Hey guys. Man, why are there like three of you? What the heck? That's so stupid. Seriously, they don't need like three of you at once. Seriously. You're all just scanning faces. What good did three of you do versus one of you? Is it like your security guard or something? Ooh. Okay, so he's not up there though. Let's look around. He's around here somewhere. Might as well open this up, though. Hard lock, that's worth some XP. Man, that was worth a ton of XP. I'm glad I did that, actually. It was a level up, too. Okay, let's see. What am I going to level up? I'll say a few points to energy weapons. Guns is basically done, and so is speech. I don't think I'll ever need to boost those again. Boost a few points into that. Let's put some points into melee. A couple into science. One into sneak. A little in survival and unarmed. I'm trying to balance out my skills a little bit in the coming levels because there aren't really any good perks that are still coming aside from the ones that I might get for really high skill levels. But for now, I'm just going to sort of do it the way it is for now just because I want to have all the skills look sort of balanced out. Be kind of nice to see all my skills be close to 90 by the end of the game. It appears to be above me, but I'm going to need to look around. Hey guys, why are there so many of you? You are all so pointless. Oh, maybe I was supposed to go to the top floor, so I could have just gone through that other door earlier. Yep, I knew it. But we'll take his T51B power armor because that's going to be very helpful to us in the future. Third floor access is for executives. Ice cream. Thank you. What kind of stupid. We'll take all that body armor though because the T51B power armor is. Aside from just a couple of special cases, it's the best armor in the game. Aside from just a couple of special cases. Therefore, I would like to keep it. And that's actually going to save us some backtracking in the near future, so I suppose there wasn't anything wrong with that. No T51B helmets, unfortunately, or if there were, I didn't see them. Yeah, there didn't appear to be any helmets, so that's a bit unfortunate. Pre-war money 200. Wow, like I really needed all that. Then again, I still have like 500 from uh, dead money, or a lot from dead money. Because I just traded chips to one of the people. Okay, so now that we've done that, guys, I think that's a pretty good stopping point. So, next time on Let's Play Fallout New Vegas, we will start off on this last part of For the Republic Part 2. The, quest, the side quest will actually be called Still in the Dark. And it should be pretty fun, because it's we're nearing the end of the game. Well, aside from Old World Blues, but anyway, I will see you guys then.